aligning short- and long-term climate and energy policy objectives in the EU. The EU currently aims to achieve three clear climate and energy policy goals by 2020. A 20% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions below where they were in 1990. 20% of all energy consumed must come from renewable sources. And a 20% reduction in energy use. These three short-term targets exist within the wider context of the EU aiming to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 80 to 95 percent below 1990 levels by 2050. Current projections show that the EU is on track to achieve goals one and two, but will achieve only half of its energy savings goal. When these individual goals are looked at together, it becomes clear that we are faced with a dilemma. Increasing energy efficiency to achieve the 20% energy savings target will reduce energy consumption, which in turn will reduce emissions by at least 25%. Reducing emissions by 25% is a good thing, but it also reduces demand for emissions permits from the emissions trading scheme. Reduced demand for emissions permits puts downward pressure on the price of those permits. That reduces the incentive for low carbon investments. The dilemma, therefore, is how to achieve the energy savings target without undermining the price of emissions permits in the emissions trading scheme. Here, we set out the dilemma in an easy to understand way and show how a solution can be found with the right policy mix. This model looks at the combined effect of the 2020 energy savings and emissions reduction targets on CO2 prices and the economy-wide cost of achieving both the 2020 and 2050 emissions reduction targets. A simple way to consider the dilemma is to think of policy targets and outcomes. Policy targets. The energy savings by 2020, which will be 10% under a business-as-usual scenario or 20% if the existing target is met. The GHG emissions reduction by 2020, which will be 20% under a business-as-usual scenario, or 30% if the ambition is increased. Outcomes. The CO2 price. The short-term mitigation cost, defined as the economy-wide cost between now and 2020. The long-term mitigation cost, defined as the overall economy-wide cost between now and 2050 of achieving the EU objective of 80 to 95% emissions reduction. The first scenario is the business-as-usual scenario, where the 20% emissions reduction target is achieved, but the energy savings target is missed by half. The carbon price remains stable, and within the range of between 15 and 30 euros per tonne needed to encourage low-carbon investments. The cost of achieving the short-term 20% emissions reduction target is medium, because not all cost-effective energy savings options are being tapped into. But the overall cost of achieving the long-term 80 to 95% emissions reduction objective is high, because aggressive emissions reductions will have to be achieved post-2020. The second scenario shows the existing climate and energy goals for 2020 being met, including the 20% energy savings target. In this scenario, carbon prices decline, falling below the current range and risk collapsing. The cost of achieving the short-term 20% emissions reduction target is low because it is achieved through cost-effective energy savings. But the overall cost of achieving the long-term 80 to 95% emissions reduction objective is high, as there is less incentive for low-carbon investments that will enable continued emissions reductions post-2020. The danger of this scenario is of a substantial carbon lock-in because there is little short-term incentive for low-carbon investments. The third scenario is the most ambitious scenario, where the 20% energy savings target is achieved and the 20% emissions reduction target is increased. In this scenario, carbon prices remain stable and within an acceptable range. The cost of achieving the increased short-term emissions reduction target is medium, because the cost of raising the target is offset by tapping into cost-effective energy savings. The overall cost of achieving the long-term 80 to 95% emissions reduction objective is low, 
because the cost-effective energy savings are tapped into and less aggressive emissions reductions will have to be achieved post-2020. We will now assess which of these three scenarios presents the most optimal short-term policy mix. Scenario 1 – incurs a high long-term mitigation cost. Scenario 2 – fails to generate a stable and acceptable carbon price. Scenario 3, on the other hand, generates a stable carbon price and incurs the same short-term mitigation cost as the business-as-usual scenario, but with a low long-term mitigation cost. In this scenario, the additional investment costs of tapping into the energy savings potential and switching to renewables would be compensated for because the amount the EU spends on fuel would fall. Therefore, to optimize the short-term EU climate and energy policy mix, the 20% energy savings target must be achieved, which will lead to at least 25% emissions reduction, generate financial savings of up to €1,000 per household every year, and create up to 2 million jobs. And the ambition of the emissions reduction target, including key policy instruments such as the Emissions Trading Scheme, must be aligned with the energy savings target.